Hi everyone. Right, I know it's been a while since I've done anything and posted anything, but I don't feel guilty because there's so many of my videos already online. Now what I'm going to do today is I've got this vase. Oh, it's only meant for one flower. Kind of vintage, 1940s, 1950s, 50s, 60s, something like that. And although I like it, I don't love it anymore. <laughs> And I want to do something with it. So what I've got is I've taken apart one of my brooches. And we do sell these in the shop. I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to put some beautiful... Uh, do you remember what I had in my hair at the wedding? Well, I, when it was taken out, I couldn't waste it. So I'm going to put that around it. But first of all, I'm going to glue this on first. And then cover... I'll, put, I'll have to put that on first actually, these two, and then cover it with lots of different flowers and then I'm going to paint it. Um, so here goes, let's get going. I, I first of all have to glue this on, so I've just got my glue gun heating up right now and uh, obviously it's not going to lay flat flat because it won't. So I, I have to just glue that on to the best I can. I think that will do. I'm quite trying to use the lines of here to line it up right. And I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. That makes a difference on its own, doesn't it? Um, but then what I've got to do is to try and put the trim on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it onto the side as well so let's just see if we can get this going I need it to lay as flat as possible so it's just a matter of going round and round making sure there's enough of the glue to do the job I'm going to do is just to make sure it lays perfectly flat that's it done see how easy that was well when it is it looks easy and it is easy but you do have to be careful that you get it right if you want it to look nice and that looks fine now hopefully we don't paint over them but if we do hey ho not fussed we just get a little white um, wet brush and brush it off with a bit of cloth or something and dab it off the bling. I'm going to try not to do that. Just hoping that will look, I think it'll look fine. So right now I'm just going to move the ribbon. I do have a little uh, door handle that I'm going to fit onto there. See what I mean? So I've got some little uh, fine ribbon, pink ribbon. I've got lots of colours here because I'm going to paint once I've done them. Um, but here's the flowers. Now I've got a selection of flowers from um, clay ones like those. Just going to move that out of the way. Oops, look, see, I knew that had happened. I've spilt a little bit of water and that's on my table. We'll just pop that on there. Um... I'm going to need the water and the paint. The paint I'm using is just the Winter and Newton uh, Galeria acrylic white. You might say a little bit different to me, but hey, it doesn't matter. Um, so I've got the vase. Oops, stand up woman. Uh, I've got a selection of flowers and roses and things like that. So I'm just going to get them. I've cut them already, so I'd waste... Don't waste any time. There we go. And I want to put a... Because I'm going to be colouring them, I'm using white-ish. White and cream flowers. Um, like I say, not much greenery. It doesn't matter. I've got some of these. Those that I'm going to be using. Um, stamen. Little bunches of stamen. Now, I don't think I'll put them on till later. And what I want to do is to get all my uh, flowers on first. There we go. 
So um, I'm going to start around here. Now I obviously don't want to put too many um, big ones, of course, but um, I am going to do some. So I'm going to start by adding, because I want the roses to be seen. Now I may need to cut that one down. Yeah, I'm going to cut them down, I think, because I want them to lay flat. See, like that. I just look, they just look pretty. So what I'm going to do is just spread about these roses first. Here, there and everywhere. Now I hope you're seeing this properly. I'm just going to put one here. I only have so many of these roses. So you can't even tell it's a vase now, can you? <laughs> you can't! You can't tell it's a vase! <laughs> so, 
I'm going to, I'm not bothered about filling that out with anything. I might even pinch some of these off actually, because to be honest, I want the look in the front. So I'm just going to swap and change some about. So I get the filled in like I want it. Like that, see? We just tack them off there and we place them on there. Nothing to it. Um, oops. Yeah, I think we'll just do the same with those as well. You might as well have what you want where you want it, mightn't you? Let's take that one off. And that's the best thing about when you're working with glue and pot. It can just peel off, you see. It's not... In fact, I don't need to put anything on the back at all. But I'm going to, I think. I'm not sure. I don't need to, you know. I really don't need to do that. At all. Oops. I don't need to have anything anywhere unless I choose to and that's the whole um, best thing about crafting is you can put what you want, where you want and how you want and isn't that better than somebody saying oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that <laughs> I hope you've been able to see this. No. When I was doing the uh, teaching in school the, um, with a club, I just wanted my students, my uh, the pupil, should I say, to uh, do what they wanted, to think outside the box um, and do what they wanted to do. Because at the end of the day, it was their project. And if they liked it, that's the whole thing. Just need to put something in here, I think. Oh, I'm not taking another one out. You can book it off. Try and get this going again. There we go. You see... I don't need to fill that out now, do I? Because that will still stand and look how I want it to look. I'm not too fussed about the back. Let me just see if I've got enough. I don't, to me, you see, I don't want to waste flowers and I'm, I'm, I'm a bugger. To me, it's wasting because you're not going to see that ever. So it's just going to... Do you know what, bugger it? I'm not going to do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. Cover the whole thing. But I don't believe in wasting uh, anything. I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't waste. It's uh, against my religion. <laughs> against my religion. Just actually pulling that off because although it's uh, I want it to cover the lid like that the whole top of it I mean like that see I just like that I know that has to be sneaked in there a little bit. Just going to pop one in there because I love them. One in there, just a small one. Do you see? And do you know what? I was going to paint it, but I don't think I will. I don't think I need to. Because I like that as it is. And that's a whole thing when you're um, doing projects. You can 
change your mind if you want to I just need to put a little bit of pink up there because that's all I basically I was going to do was to do um, I'm just what I'm going to do I think I'm going to cover that there do I need to put that in there yeah it just needed and I'm going to put I know it's going to cover that but I'm going to put a little flower in that it's like a well and I'm not happy with that so I'm going to put one of these in there that's better yeah that's that's all I'm going to do basically I think I actually like that as is so the only thing left for me to do is to pop on some of this ribbon now I've cut it long enough to do a double one so I'm going to tie that on the neck, put a little double bow in it and then cut that where I think it should be. So I don't want the bow too big. That can do. That can do there. And I think to top it off, I might just use some of these. I've got something a little bit pink. Tiny wee. Oh, look, do you know what? I've got that. Look. Little flower I started to make. If I took that rose out, I could sit that in there. Nope. Nope, but i tell you what I have got. One of these, my, one of my favourite flowers. I'm going to put it on there no matter what, because I love these. And they're a ribbon rose. But perfect choice. That will hold the bow in as well. And um, we can glue those down, those bits. Oops, pull that back out. Like that. There we go. And I just love that. And it is so much better than having just that. I think what I'm going to do is just to work around... Um, but I don't want to cover the whole thing. I'm sorry. I don't need to. Um, no one's going to see it. It's going to stand on my deck. And um, I'm going to enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.